Hey guys, what's up? This is Diggy. It is Friday, November 17th, and in this video, I want to show you how to set up your ARC wallet for the ARC project, how to install that, how to transfer your ARC there, how to vote for a delegate, and to be able to stake so that you can get dividends on your coins up to 10% a year. So let's get started. So for those of you who haven't heard about the ARC project yet, I have done an individual project review about ARC itself. I'll put the link in the description below. If you haven't watched that yet, go and watch that first. And for those of you who want to know how to set up the wallet, let's go get started. So we head over to the official site, which is ARC.io. All right. Over there, they've got the official site. So you can see over here, they have the wallets. They have a desktop wallet, a paper wallet, and a web light wallet. Okay, so I'm just going to show you how to set up the desktop wallet. And if you want to do any of the other options, you can obviously go and do that. Okay, so the wallet is downloadable from github.com. You can see over here the certificate that says GitHub Inc. in the US. Just make sure you are on the right site. And then you can scroll down over here and you can see the downloads. So they have the client for the different operating systems. Okay, so they have for Linux, they have for Windows, and of course they have for Mac. So whatever version that you need, just simply click on it and download it. So for the purposes of this video, I am on a Mac, so I'm just going to download the Mac operating system. All right, so I just click on it, download it, and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to install it. Right, so once you've downloaded Arc, okay, you're simply going to go ahead and install it. It's very straightforward. Drag it into the applications folder because I'm on a Mac. And then let's go, go ahead and install that. All right, so over here I've installed the Arc desktop wallet, okay. And if you already have an account, you can simply import your account. Or if this is your first time, which likely it is because you're watching this video and you want to create a new account, all you simply do is click on create account, okay. Now the important thing here is when you create this account, you're going to get given a backup key phrase, okay. And it's very important that you write this key phrase down on a piece of paper, okay. First of all, do not screenshot this. Do not put it on your computer anywhere, okay? You want to keep the stuff stored, not digitally. Don't put it in your phone. Don't put it anywhere, okay? This is super important because this is literally access to your wallet, to your ARC funds. And of course, guys, this is just an example I'm making. So this is not going to be a wallet I'm actually ever going to use. So I'm just showing you this for example purposes. If you think, hey, you can see my key phrase, you know, I'm not going to use this wallet, all right? So it's a, a 12 different words in a specific order. And basically, this is super secure. Now, if you wanted to, you can increase that to 24 words um, once you're in there as additional security to make it even harder and less likely to hack. But right now, what you want to do is you just want to get a pen and piece of paper and write down this passphrase, okay? And then what you want to do is you want to write it down a second time and a third time. And you want to put it somewhere safe. Don't leave it lying around, you know, maybe keep it in your safe. Um, I don't know, leave it somewhere with someone else you trust or something else, you know, put it in a bank deposit box, who knows, but this is important, keep it safe. So once you've written this down, you simply click on next and then it's going to ask you to verify that you've written it down correctly. So it's going to ask you, you know, put in the third word, um, put in the sixth word and put in the ninth word. Okay, over here we click on create and there we go. That's the wallet setup. It's really that easy. Okay, so this is your address. So once you have your, your ARC funds, you want to send it to your wallet address. All right. Um, my suggestion would be just buying ARC on whatever exchange is available, whatever Ar exchange you prefer using. So, for example, Bittrex, you can buy ARC on Bittrex. So transfer your Bitcoin, transfer your Ethereum and convert it over to ARC. Okay, so you have your ARC in your Bittrex. You send it over to this address. And like with all cryptocurrency, make very sure that first of all, you verify your address. Okay, check the first four to six digits and check the last four to six digits when you're sending it over. Secondly, always send out a small test amount. So just send one or two ARC, you know, to see if it arrives that it that you did it correctly. If it doesn't arrive, you know, worst case is you lose one or two ARC, which is like five or six bucks, okay? If you're gonna go and send a thousand or 10,000 ARC and you send it to the wrong thing, that crypto might be gone forever, which would be terrifying and sad, all right? So make sure that you double check your wallet address and that you send a small test amount first, okay? Then what you wanna do is once you have your funds in your ARC wallet, 
To be able to stake your coins and to be able to get a return and get those dividends, what you need to do is over here in your ARK wallet, you need to go to votes, okay? And you need to vote for a delegate. So right now you can see I have no funds and I have no delegate. So it's going to require one ARK at the moment, at the time I'm making this video. Those fees might get reduced in future, but it will cost you one ARK to make the vote, okay? And when you make the vote, you can only vote for one delegate per wallet. Okay, so if you want to vote for multiple delegates, what you can do is you can create multiple ARC accounts, split up your funds, and vote for different delegates from e just one delegate from each wallet. Or if you have all your funds in one account, you can vote for just one delegate at a time. So currently what there is, is so it's called Dafti's Public Pool ARC Profit Share Calculator. I'll put the link in the description below. It's just a public um, Google document. And you can see over here, these are the delegates that you can vote for that are forging. Okay, and basically that means these are their delegate names and it shows you basically you can go and put the ARC amount in here and you can see what kind of payouts you can get. So you can see over here um, estimated daily earned, weekly earned, monthly earned, yearly earned. Okay, so you can see the percentage points also ranging from anywhere between say 4.6, 5% and 10%. All right. Now, other things to look at is, for example, the payout. So that's how much they pay out of the amount that they make, the amount of pool votes, the popularity. So you can see how the delegates are ranked. The payout frequency, that's important. I would honestly try and suggest using someone who's paying out between one and three days. Seven days is a bit long. It doesn't really matter. I mean, if, if it's trustworthy and the delegate pays out, it doesn't matter. But I prefer a one or a three day payout. And you can see what you can make. So, for example, let's just say you have 1,000 ARC, which at this moment would cost about 3,000. 200 US dollars, you can see that every week you would earn 1.84 ARC with this delegate, 7.87 or 95 ARC per year. Now imagine the price goes to 100 ARC, you would actually be making 9,500 US dollars a year on your $3,000 investment in the future, okay, potentially, all right, don't hold me to that. Okay, but that's kind of the, the possibility. So if you have a thousand ARC, you can see over here what you're able to earn in terms of ARC tokens yearly. Dutch delegates been around for a while. Um, Arcpool and Quarkpool have been around for a while. Um, so, you know, you can go and research these other guys also on Reddit if you search for the Arc delegates. And this video is not about choosing the right delegate, okay? Honestly, I think uh, Dutch delegate or Quarkpool are pretty decent. I think they pay out regularly. And, um, you know, you can, you can make your own decision, of course. Go and do your own research. But let's just say, for this purpose, we're going to choose Dutch Delegate. So what we're going to do over here is we're simply going to click on Add Delegate, right? And you can actually just choose over here the different delegates that are available. So you can see over here is Dutch Delegate. And we can click on him. And then, you know, you would click on Add Delegate. So right over here, now what we need to do in order to be able to stake those coins is we need to click on the vote. And unfortunately, I can't do that in this video because I don't have any ARC tokens in the wallet because I just created it to show you guys. So you need, you know, at least some ARC. You need at least one to be able to vote and then ARC to stake. Um, so basically, you put in your passphrase, which is, um, you know, your secret passphrase with the 12 words. You need to input that in over there. You'd click on next um, and it asks you to verify. And then you're able to vote. It costs you one ARC. And then you're pretty much staked. You vote for the for the uh, delegate and you're going to get your return that the delegate's paying out so in this case dutch delegate is paying out what well, if you have a thousand arc what are we doing over here a uh, thousand arc you pretty much be getting 1.81 arc every single week it's paid out every seven days by dutch delegate um or weekly or monthly and see a return of 9.42 percent on your tokens and anytime you want to unvote, you can simply uncheck it and you can vote again. Okay, so you can vote and you can unvote. You can change the delegates you want to vote for very easily within this platform. And you can just simply just choose your delegates that you want to vote for. And that's really how easy it is and how simple it is to get started with ARC, to store your tokens on the wallet and to vote for a delegate. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You found it useful. If you did, give me a thumbs up, smash that like button. If you hold any ARC, smash that like button. Give me a comment, you know, if you have any questions or you want to see any other tutorials or you have any questions about ARC or the wallet, leave a comment. I do read all of them personally and I will happily reply to you. And of course, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. I'm making daily cryptocurrency videos, sometimes even twice a day. Updates, tutorials, technical analysis, news, coin project reviews, the whole shebang, okay? So if you're into cryptocurrency and want to stay ahead of the curve, this is pretty much what I do all day, every day. Subscribe to the channel. And as always, have an awesome day and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.